DeepMind is an artificial intelligence research company with one specific goal in mind, to solve intelligence. The goal of the Atari project was to take a suite of Atari video games and attempt to learn how to play them with an artificial agent. They are set up to try and optimize this reward signal, which in the case of Atari is the score, and do whatever they can to, to maximize that. So here we have a DQN agent attempting to learn the classic Atari game Breakout. It's not doing so well so far, it's missing a lot of balls, but it's getting some points and you can see the reward ticking up at the top. Fast forward a little bit in training and we can see that it's learned a reasonably good strategy. It's bouncing the ball up there a lot more often, but it's still not getting a very high score. It's not getting past the first few levels of blocks. At the moment it's learning to stay over on the left hand side of the screen and then dart out just in time to, to hit the ball. At this point, we have a, a quantum leap in performance. The network learns to tunnel, as we say, that allows it to accumulate lots of points very, very quickly. It's hard not to have paternal feelings about these agents. I remember uh, watching with great excitement the point when it finally managed to get the ball to bounce up to the top of the screen, an agent starting to learn things that you didn't tell it. The agent will ultimately surpass the ability of a person. So it doesn't have the problem of reaction time. Once this thing is finished training, it can get a perfect score in this game, which is nigh on impossible for a human to play. There is ultimately a social project. There are so many complex problems faced by the world today. So problems of climate change, problems of economics, problems of healthcare, artificial intelligence techniques. We'll be able to assimilate all of this information, process it, find patterns, and attempt to solve these sorts of problems.